Jimmy Caldwell here, One Minute Out. I want to talk to you about support hand draw of our pistol from a concealed position. Because most likely that's when we're going to run into this, is we're out and about, we're at the store, and you know, either our support hand or our primary hand is tied up with something or you know maybe our you know our, our child is hanging on this arm you know we always want to try to keep this arm clear because this is our primary arm that we're going to shoot with and what we ideally would like to shoot two hands but if we had to only shoot with one hand ideally we'd like to be able to shoot with our strong hand uh, that doesn't always happen it's not going to happen so we always need to practice when we go to the range to shoot with only our support hand and draw our pistol out with our support hand so so in this instance, uh, I've got only my support hand. Maybe I've taken with my primary hand and I've tucked my child or you know my wife or somebody behind me to help protect them. And now all I have is my support hand to draw. Now, just like any other draw, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we clear our garment. You know, in this situation, I'm carrying my Mod 1 from CNG Holsters and I've got my new Walther PDP uh, pistol here. So once I clear that garment, again, over-exaggerate that clearing to ensure that we don't hang anything up. I kind of tuck my bicep into my body to hold that garment and then slide back down to draw my pistol out. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can do this. If you're flexible enough and you can turn your hand and get the pistol out from whichever position it may be in that you carry and it'll be up and ready to go to draw out, great. Most of the likely though, that's not gonna be the case, right? We're not all that flexible. We're not uh, Stretch Armstrong. So we're gonna clear that. I'm just gonna grab the pistol, all right? Below, obviously, any of the mag well or below um, any of the trigger well. I'm gonna come straight out. And then for me, the ideal that I like to do is just sort of tuck it between my legs. So as I tuck the pistol between my legs, now the barrel is pointed in a safe direction. I've got nothing in the way here. If something were to happen and it went off, I'm not gonna injure myself or, or anybody else, right? It's pointed towards the ground. All I do is roll my hand over now to switch my grip, right? Bring the pistol up and then I'm gonna push the pistol out, prep trigger, all right, as I go to eliminate the threat. Now, another method that we can do is sort of rolling it over. So again, we want to clear, right? We come in with that same type of a grip. We can roll it here and I can even take and set it back into my holster, all right? Switch my hand around and now I can bring it up into position. All right, level the pistol out, prep trigger, be ready to engage. So there's a few different methods that we can do, all right, with just this appendix carry, and not everybody does appendix carry, right? A lot of guys like to carry on the front of their hip or on the back of their hip. The biggest thing I will say, whatever that is, you know, find a good way to get that pistol over. You know, some guys talk about rolling it on the chest. It's not a bad option, but you know, just ensure when you're doing that, you're aware of everything around you. You just don't want something to get into the trigger well to accidentally make that firearm go off. All right, for me, the safest way is just to draw the pistol out, pinch between my legs, roll over, and then I'm ready to go, okay? Um, but if you are carrying at a different position, just ensure that you can get to it. So if you do like to carry on the back of your hip, make sure that somehow you can still get to that. So if you're not flexible enough or you can't get back there, you know, maybe that isn't the ideal place for you to carry it. You know, my big philosophy is I always want to set myself up for that 90% solution. You're not always gonna have the 100% solution. So if you're just, this is the best place for you, it works for you because 90% of the time we are most likely gonna be able to get at it with our strong hand, you know, and do two grip and have that ideal situation. But there's always that 10% of time that we want to ensure that we can work through that somehow. So make sure that you get to the range and you do practice that. Now, what we're going to do now is go ahead and shoot a couple and show you the different ways that I will draw my pistol, roll it over and engage the threat. So with my Mod 1 from CNG Holsters in this appendix carry, again, I want to ensure that I clear my garment and this is a support hand draw only. So I've maybe tucked my child behind me at the store to protect them. I've got my support hand only. So same thing. I'm going to grab my garment down low, over exaggerate clearing so I don't hang anything up on the pistol. I'm going to come down, grab the pistol. And then my ideal is to be able to just sandwich it between my knees here really quick. I can rotate around my grip. Then I'm going to come up. All right, time to take a, I like to take a little bit of a step forward with that left foot to set myself up. And then I'm gonna push the pistol out on target, prep trigger. All right, we're gonna shoot multiple rounds on target. Now, when we reholster, 
All right, we want to, if we've only got this hand, okay, we can still bring the pistol up. All right, if I need to, I can switch it around here. All right, go back into the garment, cover back up. But a lot of times, once we're ready to reholster, okay, the situation has, we've diffused it. So you're gonna most likely have both your hands back. Okay. Other thing we want to talk about real quick is maybe the grip with the pistol when we are only shooting with our support hand. We've only got one hand on the pistol. We don't have the luxury of both. All right? And remember that support hand normally is giving all of that grip pressure on the pistol to be help uh, settle the pistol and control recoil. So again, as we present that pistol out there, nothing's changed. My sight picture doesn't change. I usually try to keep my pistol still straight up and down. All right, but as I push out, I'm gripping that pistol, all right, as much as I can with that support hand to be able to then control recoil. All right, slight bend in the elbow and anytime I can take up just a good kind of aggressive stance wide, all right, and sort of that lean forward into it. Okay, because I've only got one hand on the pistol to help manage recoil and get on target. <laughs>